Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to go online with Codasys with an IRETN40R remote I.O. and a CMT device through Modbus communication. In order to continue with this video, you need to have Codasys activated on your CMT device. To see how to do that, you can visit the How to Activate and Go Online with Codasys on an HMI tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. So again, in order to continue with this video, you have to make sure you have Codasys activated on your CMT device. Here is a network configuration diagram for connecting an HMI and an IRETN40R with Codasys via Modbus communication. So just to explain this diagram, make sure all your devices are going into an ethernet switch and that all the IP addresses are on the same subnet. So for example, in this case, the same subnet is zero and the last octet which is WXYZ, is different for each IP address. And in this diagram, the Ethernet cables are represented by a dotted blue line. So you have the PC going into the Ethernet switch, the IRETN40R, and the CMT device. And on the CMT device, you have Codasys on LAN 1, which is the Modbus TCP master, and the actual HMI device is on LAN 2, and for the IRETN40R, that is the Modbus TCP slave device. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is configure the IRETN40R in Easy Remote I.O. So I'm going to open up my Easy Remote project, and I already have it configured here, but I'll just walk you through briefly on how to set this up. So first you wanna to go to Auto Scan, and then you would just hit scan, and it'll say scanning complete, and you would just click and then hit OK, and then it would show up here with that IP address. So that's all you need to do here in Easy Remote. So to go online, go to online and start monitoring. So now we'll need to export these tags from Easy Remote and import them as an XML file into Codasys. So in order to do that, you can either stay online or you can go offline. I'm just gonna go offline, so stop monitoring. And then go to File, and then you go Export PLC Open XML. Click that, and click this. So this is the tags you're gonna want. You're gonna wanna take over every tag here. And then you would hit OK. You would just save that XML file into a folder of your choosing. Then you hit Save, and then it will say a message that it was exported successfully. And let's go into Codasys and create a new project. So go to File, New Project. I've already created one here. I call it Codasys and IRETN40R. The first thing we'll want to do is double click on device. And for the gateway here, you wanna connect your Codasys network. So you wanna connect the device, a CMT device here. And in order to do that, you can either click here and do a scan network and you can see that it found the CMT that I'm using and hit OK. Or you can enter the IP address in this box here and it'll find that CMT device. After you establish a connection with the CMT device, Codasys, you want to add an Ethernet device. So right click on device, go to add device and then field buses, drop this down, go to Ethernet adapter ethernet and display all versions I'm going to use 3.5.10 that's the version i'm using hit add device and then double click on ethernet then you'll want to type the ethernet ip address of the codasys device so the cmt device here so i'll just enter that ip address here as well as a subnet mask and the gateway so after you do that i'm going to right click on ethernet we want to add a Modbus master device, so add device, go to Modbus, Modbus TCP master, and again, display all versions, you want this 3.5.10.0, add device. So now we want to take that XML file that we exported from Easy Remote, we want to import that into Codasys to create the slave device here. Make sure you're click on Modbus TCP master, because we're gonna add a device to this. 
just going to go to project import plc open xml just going to click the one that i want to import hit open and then you're going to click on this device here hit ok and it creates the Mabo TCP slated device. So now double click and you can see the address is the same as the IRETN40R. So just to double check, you can go into remote IO and you can see that's the same IP address. So that you know that's correct. The next go to the ethernet device, double click and you'll need to add an interface here. So you'll need to add ETH zero which is the same IP address as Codasys. So click on this network adapter, hit OK. And now we can go online in Codasys. So go to online, log in. And you can see that the device and application are highlighted green. And each device has a circular green arrow next to it. And you can see that there is a green run indication down here and that's how you know you're online and that you are connected. And this is all I'll be covering today. In the next video, I'm going to cover how you would set up programs and tags in Codasys. I'm going to turn a digital input on and off and display it on a CMT user interface, easy remote IO, and the Codasys application. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.